in the what I call the dressing room, um, I've been doing even more decluttering. Thanks to Marie Kondo, roly, roly, roly. I'm sure you've all watched her on YouTube. And I have a new friend called Nicola. I'm dreadful with names. Lewis, who's written a book called Mind Over Clutter. So I've picked up wonderful top tips from her as well. So come and see what I've done. Now, you might have seen this before, but it's a top tip if you haven't. Old cupboard, didn't know what to do with it. Storing my shoes. So that's one way of using space. But a new idea was to use the space above the cupboard and get some shoe rails. So all the shoes I don't wear as often are up there. And the best top tip, if you can hear weird noises, my dog's decided to be a puppy this afternoon and to play the toys. Best top tip from Nicola was to get rid of all my thick wooden hangers and to get these velvety soft, cheap as chips on Amazon, soft, thin hangers, which means masses more space. Look at that, folks. So, what is Jack doing? Is he eating? Yes. He would eat at a time like this. Anyway, you've seen lots of videos recently, but I keep all my pink together. You might remember this with the pink trousers and the pretend leather that's pre-loved from Amsterdam. Most of these things are pre-loved or vintage. Uh, <laughs> excuse the dog. And I try and put them colour coordinated. So I think that's quite tidy anyway. Come here, dear. And then looky, looky, roly, roly. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, so the drawers, look at that. If you roll everything up, you have so much more space. Look at that, I mean, half empty. So those are my top tips for wardrobes. This is a little bit more full because we haven't had a proper summer and I ha yet, and I haven't worn all my beautiful Vintage, gorgeous, that's my fave, gorgeous summer dresses. But they'll be done soon, I'll be wearing them. That one you've seen before. Dying to wear that when it gets hotter. And I've got another new one. You'll see that soon on Instagram. Um, so basically, I've tried to group them all together into ones that I need to wear that I haven't shown on Instagram yet. Um, and the rest are all colour coordinated, orange and pinks and greens and blues all together. So you know me and my vintage dresses. Um, oh yes, and I've done my belts all organised. So I've done those in circles. That was a top tip from wonderful la the wonderful ladies. And my scarves, the winter stuff's all in the other room in a drawer packed away. And finally, I had this in the attic. Um, my dear friend Pete said, well, why don't you use it? So decided that was a good place for bags and also to hang things up before I'm going away for a weekend. So all I have to do is hang them up, wrap, roll in the suitcase. Come with me and we'll go to the next bit so I can show you all my rolling. I'm a fanatic about rolling, but it's given me so much more space. Yeah. So here we are in my boudoir, my bedroom, and this... Um, your friend Leah put that up, David put that up. Dear friend put this up for me and this is where I hang my many necklaces. So A, it looks quite nice and B, it's really tidy. But the two, oh, this is exciting. This was from, I don't know where I picked this up from, but I've got this little glasses case so that I can just find my many vintage style glasses really easily and then look at this this is my pride and joy look at my knicker drawer and it's always like this not the usual mess it used to be and look at this you're going to be so impressed Leah oh my Ooh. tights and the best one of all look at my scarves and little boxes this is definitely the Marie Kondo effect. And because of all the space they've saved me, 
not so tidy. I now have clothes for extremely hot countries, which England never is, and my winter woolies that I hope I won't have to see again till November. So that's a very quick idea on how to declutter and make the most of your wardrobe. Hope you liked. Please subscribe, please comment, and I'll see you very soon.